Yes, that too, all of it, you can have it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you The Basics. The Basics were a set of books and lectures uh, on CD. And those were, there were varying packages, but the basic package was about $3,000. And those were the packages that initially were being offered, that the staff were being forced to sell under very high intense pressure. The way production works in the C organization is, like I mentioned, everything's kept on a very tight leash. And, uh, for example, when the basics came out, those, all those books, right, and they were frantically trying to get the books into everybody's hands, now, 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 now. Uh, and that's how they say it, by the way, now, 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 is um, the way they ran the production, and the, there was a, there was a call-in area where people were on the phone, sort of a call center activity, and the staff were made to run on 10-minute periods. If they hadn't reached somebody within 10 minutes, it was stand up and do 25 jumping jacks or run around the room because you're not, your intention is not high enough. You're not, you're not, uh, you don't mean to do your job well enough, so we're going to make you do your job well enough by putting physical punishment there as a, uh, as a means to get you to produce more. It just was just a pressure cooker grind on a daily basis, and it turned the staff into telemarketers, dialing for dollars, um, just not a spiritual place to be. There was a time where I w went down stairs to where the staff were supposed to get comforted and helped and I went to the person in charge of that area and I said, this doesn't seem like a religion to me. I'm not f feeling spiritual here. If that didn't work, and you still hadn't reached somebody, let's say in half an hour or so, well then you were taken out back and they, were, they literally would throw a bucket of water on you as, a, as a, a, an analogy for overboarding you, right? Because they're not on a ship and, and so they'll just throw water on you. If by the end of the day you hadn't produced your quota or hadn't reached anybody or hadn't made any sales, then you went down to the galley and you scrubbed pots for an hour or two or three and that was into your sleep time. Mm -hmm. And this was after you were already up late, one, two, three o'clock in the morning, calling Hawaii, calling England, calling Australia, trying to make sales. It was like all these staff members are there with uh, clipboards, and basically they are just asking cash or charge, cash or charge. The next day, at the very restaurant, the waiters and the waitresses are asking us to buy basics. I said, we already got them. Well, yes, but you can buy another one, it's okay. And that was the, the party line. It didn't matter how many you bought, you can yet buy one more. I mean, everybody, everybody was selling basics. The reception is in the, in the technical area. The, the director of processing, the, the auditor, everyone. This lady would call me and she says, I am calling from the office of the vice president. He needs to meet with you. He has a very important key confidential briefing to give you. You have been selected as one of the few who are ready to get this briefing, or qualified to get this briefing. He came with another person, I think his name was Suawi, Suawi, something like that. And the briefing was Germany, suppressive government, they're stopping the Scientologists, they made it illegal to be a Scientologist, they're kicking um, kids out of school for being a, uh, the sons or daughters of Scientologists, you know. The briefing lasted like 15, 20 minutes, and then right after that, it's like, so what we need you to do is buy 16 sets of basics and lectures. I was flabbergasted. Well, obviously what happened as a result of that is, rather than wanting to continue to receive that kind of harsh punishment, the staff member would start resorting to very unusual means to make money, including getting the person to um, give them their credit card number and then charging more than the person had authorized, 
somehow getting hold of the person's account information and just taking money off of their account. Unauthorized, the... unauthorized Visa, MasterCard, American Express. That's right. That's so right. the staff, because of such high punishment, became criminal. That's right. And that and is... Criminal things with the credit cards. Exactly. And that's documented fact. There's no, that's not a conjecture yeah. on anybody's part. I yeah. know for a fact that happened. Churches of Scientology have no accountability, no audits. There's no checks and balances. The money that gets taken in vanishes into the black nebulars of nowhere. There is no accounting. So if I gave $10,000 for some books for a library, even if the library sent it back and kicked it out the door, returned to sender, the person who paid that money would never be notified that there was no delivery. Any Scientologist who's been around for any amount of time knows we get emails, we get calls at all hours of the night. Your auditor, your ethics officer, anyone in the org, anyone you know that's a Scientologist, they harass you, they harangue you. Buy the books, buy the books. Where are the books? The, the, the whole point of having everything end off at Thursday at 2 is to keep everybody uh, on a weekly short leash. Mm -hmm. So you can't really accomplish enough in a week's time period to feel that you're productive and yet all the demand is that you must have your stats up and things have to happen by Thursday at 2 or else and then you finally Thursday at 2 comes you go, huh. and then you're immediately prepping for your next week and for the next things that are going to happen and the next things and and it's you know affluences are made early in the week is what is one of the things that they say, right? The the all your production is supposed to get off to a fast start right away, so you better frantically get back to work again. There's no rest period. There's no like, okay, let's just chill out and review everything. It's hurry, 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 hurry. And again, it just contributes to that mindset of franticness. And you can't really be productive on a long-term basis when you're constantly frantic about short-term production. <laughs>